Hey guys, Joe back at it once again with some OCR FSMQ lessons and today we are back with some more binomial distribution. Um, so in the last episode we introduced what binomial distribution was, talked about the formula for it. Uh, so if you haven't seen that one, check that out now because we won't be going over uh, the, the first lesson stuff but today we're going to do more complex uh, problems with the binomial uh, distribution function. And this is the last actual lesson, full lesson, on um, any concept in the course. But I will be doing an odds and ends uh, lesson uh, in the next couple of days for, you know, little uh, added extra things that are in the OCR FSMQ, which you are expected to know. But let's get into things. Here we go. Right, so, we're back to our man firing 10 shots at the target with a 70% chance of hitting the bullseye. All shots are still independent of each other. So if you if you didn't see the last episode, this is what uh, was happening. And we talked we talked about what would happen if you wanted seven um, bullseyes or something like that. But what's the probability that he hits at least three bullseyes? So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. Yeah. So we can binomially distribute it as 10, 0.7 because there's 10 shots and a 70% chance of success. So the P of the, at least 3 is the P of 3 or 4 or 5 or 6 or 7 or 8 or 9 or 10. But that would just be silly because that would be so much work like that. We are not adding them all up. Put it that way, we are not doing that. I mean, you can in an exam if you want to, if you really don't remember how to do it, do the P of 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, all the way up to 10 and add them together, but that is silly. The only ones we've not talked about there in that big chain is 0, 1, and 2. So it's a lot less work if we, uh, it's a lot less work if we just do 0, 1, and 2 and take away from 1, because the way I like to think of this is if you think of a box of probability, it runs from naught to 1 in terms of chances. Now the P of 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 is all of this region here. Like that. That's the way I like to think of it and then we want this so it's 1 minus whatever this is here which is going to be there, 2. So from 2 and less, uh, 1 minus 2 or less that is what you get to get this region here. So there you go. So the P of at least 3 is 1 minus uh, probability of 0, which is 10C0 times 0 0.7 to the 0 times 0 0.3 to the 10. Add the P of 1, which is 10C1 times 0 0.7 to the 1 times 0 0.3 to the 9. Add the P of 2, which is 10C2 times 0 0.7 to the 2 times 0 0.3 to the 8. Which equals 0 0.9. 841. So that's just that. But here we go, this is a very generic one. Uh, if x can be binomially distributed 10, 0 0.5, then find the probability of x being at least 2. There you go, it means the probability of at least 2. So draw yourself a number line. If you grab 2 and you want to be more than 2, so we grabbed 2 and we want to be more than, so we want all of those numbers there, that's that lot. But working again with the uh, probability, you could have done two, uh, pardon me, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or ten. Add them all together. But it's a lot less work if we just do one minus naught, add one. So there you go. P of x is greater than two, uh, greater than or equal to two, equals one minus the probability of x being less than or equal to one which is 1 minus the probability of x equal than 1, add the probability of x equal than 2, which is 1 minus 10c1 times 0 0.5 to the 1 times 0 0.5 to the 9, add 10c0 times 0 0.5 to the 0 times 0 0.5 to the 10, which equals 1 minus 0 0.0107, which is 0 0.9893. So that's that. And that is that lesson. It's a very small thing to add on, but you need to be aware of how to find out what at least means. And to be fair, in an exam, you've probably got enough time to add them all up uh, together, but it's a lot less work if we do 1 minus uh, the obviously the ones that have been untouched. But 
I hope you guys have found it helpful. Please leave a like down below if you did. You don't have to, of course, but it will mean a lot for me and for the channel. And let us know that you is actually uh, finding these helpful. Comment if you need any help. There's a worksheet down below in the description. Good luck for your FSMQ if this is your last lesson now. But, uh, yeah, I will see you in a couple of days for the final lesson on this, which is going to be an odds and ends. So, thanks for watching, and goodbye.